this is uh, a apparently Zook said in case of emergency you use this this portal key and this uh, password to get to where I'm going. Yeah. So now we're now we're in this strange feeling forest. And they met giants, and Liberation got tricked out of all his gold, and it's been it fun. fun. They they split the party, which was hilarious. You said they, yeah, but but really, yeah, you mean like two you, of us? Yeah, and you charmed one of them, listen, and listen. the other one, yeah. You all so are the saying... players. You're just this homogenous mass on the other side of the table to me. Which... So you're saying oh. this isn't Mahogany's fault, is what I heard you just say, Keely. <laughs> <laughs> All of you are complicit in the sins of any of you. I uh, mean, yes, it is the party's fault, but... So go ahead and take the benefits of the uh, long rest. What does that put your exhaustion at, Liberation? I'm down to two, I think. No, I was down to two yeah, yesterday. Now, now I'm down, down one. You should be at one, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So getting back to some semblance of normalcy, <coughs> what direction are we striking out in today? Northeast? Northeast is as good as any other. Although I don't know why I'm listening to you. <laughs> and what kind of pace are we keeping today? Should we do two? So at yes. the end of the day, Liberation's back to... Sure. Yeah. And I'll do some scouting. Okay. Yeah, we should. Mm. Are you sure? Nothing bad ever came of me scouting. Which of these hexes would you like to scout? Right, just gestures off toward the devastation in their wake. That... <laughs> It's fine. Uh, Mahogany, where are you scouting? Uh. And go ahead and make that check. Ten. Ten. Very average roll. I am not <laughs> overturning anything for a ten. Uh, what am I shooting for here? Oh, you're shooting for the DC that I have marked on my notes. Ah. Uh. <laughs> it's a secret to everybody. It's a secret to everybody. We know it's not ten. <laughs> we know it's not ten. Everyone, make a chart. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have to do this the hard way. <laughs> if we're gonna do this holistically. Like, if it's anything like I, the hex crawl I did for my players in the wilderness, that DC is a moving target, affected by a great many things. <laughs> not a great many things. I'm not creating that much work for myself. Uneventful day of travel. As you reach a good spot to put up camp for that night. Aside from, you know, the standard wild animals and stuff. Is Serenity back to foraging at this point? Uh, no. So far I've been eating the food, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I imagine... Because I'm still passing out good berries and saying, like, all right, these are only for emergencies. I'm imagining that everyone, including Mahogany, is... Throwing the food onto the floor, eating one of the good berries. <laughs> yeah, calling it a day. <laughs> Uh, your good berries are not spoiled by this forest like they were getting spoiled in the Beastlands. Yeah. You're not under any magical obligation here to hunt for your own food. Where'd the other little marker go? I thought I had them stacked up for next I time. Set, I set them aside. Oh. I set this one aside over here. I'm fully expecting you guys to split the party again. <laughs> when when we do, you can have this one back. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll make it a different color if it's different members splitting the party. <laughs> it probably <laughs> won't be. What direction are we striking out the next day? Mahogany scouting was not very uh, he illuminating. Got you want to go fully due east? Kind of go, kind of do the yeah, let's number right there. Swing down a little bit. Sounds good. Okay. All right, and I'll grab this one. Hopefully. You feeling? You feeling better, Liberation? Yeah, more or less. <laughs> can I roll? Yeah. Yeah, you can roll. All right. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't going to be like, a, oh, you find something first. Please do. It's 13. Well, that's the, that's the uh, good thing about a hex scroll is I don't have, like, things marked on the map for you to find. Everything's based off of random encounter tables. So there's not really a sense of you being anywhere in this map. Uh, which of these surrounding tiles would you like to flip? This one? Yeah. As you... Walk through the woods, off to the east. You notice bizarre figures hanging in trees. We're talking like like Blair Witch style stick men. Some of them are hanging from trees, having not like dangling like by a noose, but having been lashed to uh, branches 
by twine. Um, and they're secured rather well. They're not just blowing back and forth in the breeze. Uh, some of them are just leaned up against trees. Some of them are hammered into the soil with posts. And they're very vaguely humanoid shape. Too small, though, to be a human, but too large to be something like a gnome. And much larger than the fairy folk you had seen earlier in your adventure. Are they moving? No, they're just bundles of sticks, twigs, and foliage that have been lashed together. Are they together. magical? Well, uh, I, I know that they're just bundles of sticks and twigs. <laughs> I'm asking, are they moving? No, they're not moving. <laughs> okay. So uh, You're using Detect Magic, Mahogany? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, they're not. We've been out here for a week, and I and it's just now dawning on me. Why the fuck did Grandfather Zoot come out here in the first place? Adventure? I mean, you know what he's a forest, no? This is a what, shitty forest. Why do they use a giant How loud do you say that, Liberation? <laughs> Conversationally. Conversationally? Yeah. Okay. You may continue. Mahogany <laughs> looks uh, around and goes, No, this is about right for the forest I've been in. Uh, okay, whatevs. I mean, nobody's tried to hunt us yet. Well, alright. <laughs> no, yeah, it's about right for the forest we've been in. <laughs> Okay. All right. Other than that, the day is uneventful. Uh, however, as you're continuing east, you see these uh, these stick men in greater and greater quantities. The more you move in that direction, you want to push north because these things give me the give me the heat. <sighs> yeah, I don't like them either. <laughs> okay. If if I if I had a bell at my desk, I'd be ringing it right now. Ghibli <laughs> <laughs> Ghibli's. Yeah, I got, I, I'm getting the jubilees up here. Head start out north tomorrow. You guys are going to turn to the north tomorrow? Two more hexes? Uh, yeah, I'm just curious, though, because we're, we're starting to see signs of, like, civilization. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to uh, commune with the forest around us. Okay. Yeah, let's do that before we set off. How sure. so? How are you with, communing? By commune with forest, I think is the name of it. Yeah, it's a spell. Yeah, nature. Nature? nature. Okay. Give me with nature. Give me one moment. And I, I'm doing it before I go to bed, because. Oh, okay. I, mean, suppose that. I can just do it as a ritual. If you, well, I, if I can you do care it as about a ritual the resources. Too. No, I mean. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh come on, guys! Why why are you guys fighting over? It? He gets to <laughs> gets to piss off nature. What what I clearly already did. I'm not pissing off nature. I'm talking with nature. Yeah, and you notice how whenever you talk to people, the thing. yeah, about that. When, whenever you talk to people, they always get mad at you. That's not true. I've had some very nice conversations with squirrels. You learn some very interesting things, Mahogany. All right. Now the spell only has a three-mile radius, which doesn't encompass the even the entirety of the hex that you're in. Right. I mean, That's as why far I as been bothering until now. as far as the terrain and bodies of water and things go, uh, about what you expect. Uh, the lush forests, a lot of wildlife, little streams, uh, about consistent with what you've seen in your journey so far. Uh, abundant plants and animals, uh, the kinds of things you would expect to see in a temperate forest climate getting on into, uh, getting on into like the end of autumn. As far as powerful creatures in the area, the fey presence in these woods communing with the nature extremely powerful and not all of the fey presence is benign and as far as influence from other planes of existence what you learn is that you are very not on the prime material at this moment you are but you aren't and you have no idea what that means I'll relay that to everyone else. And then, like, as at the part about there being powerful fey presence, I'll kind of whap uh, Liberation. I'll say, stop talking shit about the forest. <laughs> <laughs> and that information is only pertains to the area about three miles around your current location. Mm-hmm.
Who has second watch tonight in the hut? Well, that's a very specific question. Yes, it is. <laughs> well, Killian has been taking first watch, so... Okay. I'll take second watch now that I'm feeling better, I guess. Oh, will you? Yeah. I'll jump on this grenade, why not? Liberation. Hey. Everyone else is asleep in the hut. <laughs> there is a slight sprinkling of rain in the air. And you're just hanging out, listening to it patter. Not unpleasantly against the top of the hut. Hating every moment of this shitty wood. Mm-hmm. And... I mean, the streets are single any day. Several creatures emerge from the trees. From the east. Okay. Three of them. Big, but not giant-sized. And you would know that comparison because you met some giants recently. <laughs> All three of them, uh, maybe seven feet tall or so, like big, very burly uh, humans at first glance, except very hairy. Like their face, their heads and face wreathed with very coarse hair, big, thick beards. One of them, you're pretty sure, is a woman and still has very thick beard on her. Where you can see their skin, basically just around their face and hands, uh, is gray. And they're wearing earth tones, uh, heavy leathers and skins, and heavy cloaks to guard against the rain. And all three of them have walking sticks. And at first glance, all they've done so far is moved out of the tree line, and they seem to be regarding the tiny hut that you all are sleeping in. Because all they see from their perspective is this opaque hemisphere poking up out the ground. Probably the others. And they're talking amongst themselves in a language that you don't understand. So you go ahead and wake everybody else up? Yeah. Okay. Oh, naked giants. No. Very, very clearly not naked now. What are they? I don't know. That's why I wanted to wake up. Wake everyone up. So that way we don't have bullshit like what just happened a few uh, earlier this week. I That's definitely a better plan than whatever happened before. I, I tried, okay? I tried. All right. And as you were arguing about whatever you're arguing about, one of the creatures uh, sits down on the ground, cross-legged, and she fishes out some kind of uh, a, like a wooden pest, a, a wooden mortar and pestle, and starts placing things into it, grinding it around. The other two also remove. Things from their pouches. It looks like uh, bits of foliage, various types of herbs, and add it to this All right. little pot that she's stirring in. So I don't know. I'm curious. Let's go find out. And Mahogany will walk out to go say hello to them. You walk out of the hut? Yeah. Liberation and just gestures at Mahogany like, you see? You see what I'm dealing with here? And as soon as you step out of the hut... All three of them, the one sitting on the ground, jumps back to her feet. All three of them grab their staves in a defensive position. Let's roll some initiative. walk out of the... Okay. Mahogany will wave to them and say, Hi, I'm Mahogany. Nice to meet you. Oh, did you say initiative? And oh, yeah. he'll, yes. he'll put his staff on the ground. He'll say, See, I, I don't mean any threat. I think Mahogany's about to fight all these guys. <laughs> What's Riot's initiative? 19. Beardlingers, huh? What is Keelian's? Ten. Uh, I guess I should roll a mission. How about huh? Liberation? Fourteen. And Serenity? Serenity X at twenty-two. Cipher number one. And cipher number two. Ten. So Serenity, you step out of the hut after mm -hmm. Mahogany. And these creatures immediately take up a defensive posture with their stabs. Like, they're ready to defend themselves. I'll move between Mahogany and the creatures and ready in action that if anyone tries to get past me, I'll hit them. So if they, if they attempt to step past you, you're going to hit them with your uh, illuminated maul? Is it illuminated yep. at the moment? Yeah, because it's night, right? Oh, yes. Middle of the night. Uh, 
Uh, Riot. Right. Uh, Riot seeing everyone else starting to walk out walks out too, which just dispels the hut. Okay, the hut is now gone, and this seems to cause some uh, concern amongst these three creatures. Mm-hmm. And you suddenly can see on their faces they've recognized how many of you are there. So let's mm-hmm. Riot's action. Uh, Riot's gonna hold up his hands and says, "Hold, ho, <laughs> There's no need for that. No need to defend yourselves." You two, put your weapons down. Let's all just talk. In what language are you saying this in? Uh, common seems like the good... You know what? Mm, I couldn't understand the language that they were speaking before, right? I could hear them. You could hear what they were saying? Let me check your character sheet. I don't think any of you speak their language, but I'm going to find out. I have common, abyssal, aqua, and underwater trade languages. So I could have talked to the Triton back there just fine. <laughs> Yeah, nobody speaks the language that you just heard them talking. Okay, then then in that case, what I'm going to do is actually not talk to them, mm-hmm. but send a message to them instead, to one of them instead. Okay. Just point, because that way I know that they can understand me. And what is the message that you send? The message is, um, don't we're not we're not looking for a fight. We just want to talk. We don't know what you are, and you don't know what we we are. So let's not get off to violence just yet. Now, when you say send a message. <laughs> I say I cast a spell message. You can see how I would get confused. Yeah. The response you get. Mm-hmm. Which of the three did you message? Are they, are they differentiated in any way? One of them seems to be a woman. That's the one who sat down on the ground with the mortar and pestle. Mm-hmm. If she's not looking like she's going to defend herself, then I'm going to talk to one of the two who is kind of like on edge. Well, they all three look on edge. As far as their like mindset looks, uh, mm-hmm. they look they look ready to defend themselves from violence. Then let's have the woman who sat on the ground. And the response you get from her is that you are being watched Mm -hmm. from many of the trees. And we have come to ascertain whether or not the trespassers mean us violence. And I'll message back. Well, it's not my turn anymore. Nope. Now it is Beardlinger's turn. Which brings us to Liberation. I see the Riot's done her message thing, so I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold off on doing yeah, anything. Yeah. All, all you can really see is her pointing at the one of the the, uh, the creatures. Oh, well, she's got this look in her eye, like yeah. Yeah. What about Keelian? But... Um. What happens when the hut gets dismissed? You're just sitting on the ground now. Well, then that's all Killian is doing. <laughs> and what yeah, about Mahogany? You don't fall anywhere. <laughs> Mahogany just puts his staff down. He says, see, we don't mean any harm. He's just going through languages at this point. Okay. <laughs> Do any of you speak Elvish? Nope. What's an elf? <laughs> Draconic is what I was looking no. for. They're tiny dragon men. As long as none of you initiate hostilities, they don't advance on your position. Are you able to uh, message them continuously, Riot? Yeah, it's a cantrip, so I can just do it every turn. So let's go ahead and come off the initiative order until Serenity gets bored and charges them. <laughs> okay. So what was her what was her last response to me? She says they have you surrounded, they've been watching mm-hmm. you from the trees, and they've come forward to ascertain whether or not you mean them violence. I'll say we don't know who you are. Um we didn't come here to hurt you. We're we're here looking for somebody. They ask what manner of creature are you? Oh, that's right, because none of us are walking around seeming anymore, huh? No. Um, uh, We're all all sorts. 
I'm I'm a Tifling. That's I don't know what he is. That's a uh, these two are Janasi, and that's an Asimar. And as Keeling, as Riot points to Keeling, he just sort of stretches out on the ground because he just pulled a shift and wants to sleep. So Keeling rolls over and goes back to sleep. You're trying to, yeah. All right. Well, we're getting on with D20s, peppered with arrows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm prone, point, so... <laughs> <laughs> I At this point, when... Mahogany has run out of spoken languages and is writing the Druidic message for friends and pointing it at them. <laughs> uh, Make I a wave persuasion wave. check, Mahogany. Ten. <laughs> Christmas dump stat. That someone had to go somewhere, man. One of the men, when you put out the, the message that says friends, spins in your direction and says in the druidic tongue, do you belong to the cult? I, I don't know what cult you mean. And... You can tell he doesn't believe you, and he presses the issue, and he points out that you speak in their tongue. And at this point, I'm, ask, I'm asking him. I'm saying, I'm a druid. I, I learned this tongue from Lou. Is there a cult here that's... And he presses on who is Lou, and why did he send you to their territory? All right, at that point, I'm just going to start telling stories about Lou. <laughs> And Serenity I'm is now he did, put he down her ball. Here. Serenity he, he put just... down her weapon? Yeah, she's put her weapon back on her harness and just sort of glancing back and forth between people. A bunch of people speaking languages she doesn't understand. Okay. He just kind of wants us to do things. Like go out and, and, and experience things, but right. nothing in particular. Yeah. As this now agitated gray person, the mm -hmm. weirdlinger here, is having this argument in Druidic with Mahogany... And you, you don't speak druidic, but you're sure it's about something ridiculous. <laughs> the woman you're conversing with via message. She explains that your friend speaks in a tongue that is known to their local trees to be a language of great evil. And she asks and I, you why your friend speaks thus. Well, then the first thing I'll say is, um, <laughs> Mahogany, shut up. Wait, who's got the, who's got who's got the lowest orb at this point? The lowest what? The lowest orb. Oh. <laughs> Just has her disapproving face in it and she's wagging her finger at Mahogany. <laughs> Mahogany always has the lowest orb. <laughs> Does Mahogany he shut up? He cherishes it. Mahogany will shut up for now. Okay. And just he says in common, what Riot tells him. Says in common, it's it's the specific language you're speaking to that's making me very unhappy. Uh, whatever it is. I don't know any other languages. <laughs> and I'll explain to... I'll, I'll say to them in message, um, pardon us, but where we're from, it has no such connotations. Serenity. Mm -hmm. One of the creatures begins motioning towards you with his stick. Continues speaking something uh, in his language that you don't speak. To you, Riot, the woman says, your friend who has laid down her weapon, mm -hmm. ask her to step forth, that we may... Oh, that, that, that they may? That we may work a divination upon her. And I'll just say to the others, sounds like they're just going to check us out magically. Um, Serenity, you first, step forward. Serenity nods and walks forward. As you're walking forward to meet them, she stoops on the ground, picks up the mortar, and gives it a few good grinds. She reaches into it with her hand, and it's some kind of paint-like substance uh, that seems to take on a different shade depending on how the light hits it. And using her fingers, she slathers it on both sides of your face. And it just how feels cold. How big is this cold. creature? Uh, probably about Serenity's size. 
I think so. Oh, yeah, like seven feet or so. Seven, okay. between seven and eight feet. Well, and yeah, taller. just slathers this paint on either side of your face. And then she and the other two take a step back from you. And they seem to be watching you intently. Looking good, Serenity. <laughs> Serenity doesn't do anything. She just stands there, waiting. Yeah, Riot's watching curiously to see what effect this paint has. After about 30, 40 seconds, the woman says something to the other two standing next to her. And they seem to drop their guard a little bit. They lower their stabs. They no longer uh, look like they're ready to strike you down if need be. I'll say by message to the one I was speaking with, would you like to check um, Mahogany here? And her response, she asks uh, whether the woman of stone Mm -hmm. would vouch for him, though he speaks a dark tongue. And I'll just say in common, Serenity, you vouch for Mahogany? Oh, Serenity old points Mahogany. Not waiting for a response, says yeah. (laughs) Yeah, she (laughs) (laughs) does. And that seems to placate them well enough. They ask who you're, who you, uh, who Lou sent you here to search for. His name, one name, maybe you don't know him. It's, we've been having problems with names. Is Zook? Did he have a last name? Anyone know? Just Zook, Duke Zook. I think he was Grandfather Zook. Grandfather Zook. Grandfather Zook. There seems to be some conversation back and forth between them. And the response that she gives is that their people hosted Grandfather Zook very recently on his most recent uh, hunt for the Great Old One. He's hunting a Great Old One? They, she nods. A great, great old, old one, what? Ask them if he's the best person. <laughs> and she just... Dis- <laughs> <laughs> Did you ask that question in Druidic Mahogany? No, that's in common. I'm <laughs> saying that's a riot. <laughs> uh, they describe the great old one. Mm-hmm. And... You guys have met dragons. You know what a dragon is. Yeah. They're describing a black dragon. Mm-hmm. And they describe how this creature can spit acid from its mouth strong enough to melt mountains into hills. How its gaze, how it's able to snare your heart and strike you blind with terror. And that this great old one, their people have lived, uh, and all the peoples of the forest have lived in fear of this thing for many, many generations. Uh, until Grandfather Zook arrived. And she speaks of Grandfather Zook as kind of a folk hero, almost. That's about right. That he has befriended the various peoples of the forest and made a name for himself here as... The way she describes it, it sounds... The words she's using to describe it is uh, like a great hunter, like a... The, the vanquisher of great evil. What you hear being adventurers is he's just harassing this black dragon and stealing its gold. (laughs) And he's been doing it the whole time he's lived in this forest and this dragon has not caught him yet. (laughs) So he is the best person. (laughs) So I'll, I'll ask them why can I ask why you assumed that we were here to do violence to you? And they explain that there are many dangerous tribes in the forest. Alright. Where did where did he go, Zook, last time you saw him? Let me do some quick calculations on my map. Ask them about the naked giants. Oh yeah, I'll get to that in a second. I have to count hexes now. Ask them what the stuff on my face is. Told them. 
<laughs> Serenity, Serenity asks that, and Riot just says, it told them you were a good person. I don't know, what do you want from me? It <laughs> says you're a nerd. <laughs> Somebody's going to want to take notes here, because I'm not going to actually yeah. display any of the map, but here's yeah, how they fine. describe it. If you continue traveling east, one day's travel, and remember, these creatures are larger than you, they have larger strides mm -hmm. than you do, uh, you'll be in their territory. They say that their people are called the Fearbolgs. Their territory is uh, lies along the Great River. The Great River uh, flows from an enormous lake far, far, far to the north. That the lake is watched over... Nick, you're going to be very happy. Mm-hmm. The lake is watched over by the Swan Maze tribe. Ha, ah, yes! That the Great River flows south from the lake uh, through the territory of the cult who speaks the Dark Tongue. Flows south from there through the Fairbogues land, and then south from there uh, becomes a marshland, which is inhabited by lizard men. Mm, and Naz, I, we've... We've seen them. So a day's travel east of where you are right now. You'll be in Fairbog territory. Mm -hmm. If you travel south along the river through Lizardman territory, mm -hmm. three days towards the base of the Great Mountains, that is where the Great Old One is known to nest. They hosted Zook about a fortnight ago. Gotcha. They seem to hold Grandfather Zook in very high regard. Have you... Do you see him often? Uh, they don't. And they don't know where in the woods he makes his abode. Uh, okay. He's very friendly to the various forest peoples, but he doesn't take part in the warring of the various tribes. He kind of remains as a... Uh, like once or twice over the years, the Fairbolgs have... For example, it would ask him for assistance when the lizard folk were closing in on their territory. and He's always stayed out of such affairs. Okay. They say that as long as you all travel with the Woman of Stone, uh, they see no reason to bar you entrance to their territory. Uh, however, it is... You will be watched the whole time you're there. Alright. That seems reasonable. And I'll say to Serenity, out loud, Serenity, you're leading us through this part. I'll, I'll give you the directions. Serenity nods. Right. Well, we'll try. We'll try and trouble you as little as, as little, little as possible. Just I'm about to make a giant. giant. Oh right. Have you had any giant trouble recently? A large tribe of hill giants lives nestled in the foothills far to the east from where the Fairbog lands are across the Great River, and the giants come across to this side of the river. Mainly because the settlements and tribes in the western areas mm -hmm. are smaller folks. Mm. And giants like to smash them. Yeah. <laughs> so their hunting I'll, and raiding parties come over here for that purpose. I'll, I'll warn them that we ran into a couple of giants and give them a rough direction of where that happened. Okay. Uh, they, don't, they don't seem concerned. The, the, yeah. the giants give these fairbogs a very wide berth. <laughs> They're not as easy to bully, I would imagine. All right. Then I'll start talking to Serenity, give her the, the outline for where we need to go, and say that they trust you more than any of us, so... You guys can go ahead okay. and finish up your long rest, provided you're done with the... Uh, these beard Do I have to keep this paint on me? 
Yeah, they said you have to do that. Yeah, yeah, they did. Um, can I, oh, I also wanted to ask the name of the fear bulk that I was talking to. Uh, well, for that, we're going to have to go to fantasynamegenerators.com. <laughs> Where again? I don't remember. Some site. Oh, actually, for that, I'm going to have to restart my laptop's internet connection. <laughs> <laughs> Good old laptop. I mean, thank you, laptop. You're the best laptop. All right. Ooh, Homestuck names. I didn't see that before. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> TT Sun says, "Fur Pouch don't have names. <laughs> they don't see the point." This is a cool name. I like it. Okay. Cowboy Bear Vigor. Cowboy bear Vigor? Bear Vigor. Like a vigorous bear. Bear. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to call Mahogany now when he's in bear form. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, yeah, you guys go ahead and finish up your long rest, and where are we heading out the following day? Uh, let's see. One day's travel east. As they described it, yes. As they described it. So we might want to go the full three things. Ask them if they mean east but slightly north or <laughs> east but slightly south. <laughs> we just, just alternate. So let's go southeast this time, and then northeast, and then southeast. Yeah, let's let's end up here. Okay, so you're gonna do the full day. Yep. The yeah. Grueling. Yeah. Because it sounds like we kind of need to to get what they would consider a day's travel. Okay. We'll we'll go slower tomorrow to recover from these. Yeah, we don't need to do this every day, but yeah. And you get to this point. When you reach the uh, the Great River. Yep, here's the river that we were, they talked about. And the river is massive. Uh, when you're standing on the western bank of the river and looking across, um, and it's not flowing particularly fast, uh, but it looks rather deep, and you can't see the other side from here. Okay. It doesn't matter so much yet. It just said to travel along the river. Yeah. They never so... said we had to cross it. So we're going to deviate down to the south with your grueling pace? No, we're going to keep a normal pace, but it seems like... So they said south three days along the river. It sounds to me like if we take a normal pace, it'll take us four days, maybe. I mean, they don't move much faster than me, about my height. Well, Maybe. Yeah, let's, t let's do three days and then see where we are. Okay. okay. So you're going to move a normal pace to... We're going to go here? Uh, here, right? Weren't we going to go to the east for some reason? We, we just went east. We went yeah. to east, yeah. Okay. To the river, and then we're following the river south. Yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, what if they only travel eight hours a day? What if they're... <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I don't really know. All right, so these which hex are you looking to end up on? The one to the south of us. Oh, one one two. Okay, yeah, we got it. Two, two is not grueling pace, as far as I know. Yeah. Okay. And well, this will move you two for today. Oh, okay. Uh, so, Mahogany, you can go ahead and make a scouting check for one of the hexes surrounding where you've... Yeah, I want to know that one. You want to do this one? Go ahead and make yeah. that roll. No. <laughs> and nothing. That was and, a uh, very poor roll. Like, it didn't roll at all. Yeah. It was just kind of like a fart. Mahogany what comes you need back to do and like, Liberation is, is roll you need to teach me how to scout. And then throw it off the table. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you need to clear it and you need to clear it, clear it off and just toss it off the table. Yep, that's how you roll. And where are we going the next. Actually, you know, I got to roll for random encounters over the night. No, you don't. I just <laughs> did. So where are we going the following day? Imagine we try to stay close to the river, so okay, yeah, head off of that direction first. The same pace, two two hex yeah. pace. Yeah, right. Okay. The idea is we want to hug the river. Yeah. 
And as you're moving this far uh, along the river, it's getting less and less forest-like and more and more swampy. Uh, you're getting to the point where staying very close to the river's edge is more and more difficult because the mud is constantly sucking at your boots. Uh, mm -hmm. You're seeing different kinds of wildlife as you move in this direction, too. Um, you're no longer seeing the, like, stick people in the trees. You're starting to see more and more, like, crude, like, rope and tie twine traps uh, used to catch, uh, like, small game. Yeah, which seems like we're on the border of Elizabeth territory. So, Mahogany, which are you, would you like to scout? Uh, I don't think it's going to be very useful, but... I guess this one? Roll it. I'm assuming I can't easily just... Well, I could cross the river, actually. I can fly. Yeah, you could. But... Not with long strider, but you could turn into an owl or something. Air elemental. That's what I said, owl. You're bad at this. <laughs> Oof. Well, this isn't... This is this is a prime world. This isn't the beast lands. Right. Well, it's not even a... It's like... It's, it's a weird place. Mahogany's looking at the curved horizon. He's like, so if I fly all the way that way, do I eventually come around from the other direction? <laughs> Which is not really as weird of a thing as it sounds because he's from Sigil. So that happens just in the other way. <laughs> yeah, we're not on the inside of a giant tire. Right, we're on the outside of one, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> what if this place was surrounding Sigil? I need a perception check. Uh, group check. So, so well, let one person make it. They can make it with advantage. I'll make it. I'm good at rolling. You're okay, not there. Yeah. You're scouting. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Also, doesn't your perception suck? <laughs> no, my perception's the same as everyone else's. Okay. I got a three. Does anyone know have anything better? Uh, for per perception, I got a plus yeah. six. I have a plus six. Plus there you go. Let's get Killian do this. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. As you're going down into this marshland, as you are uh, starting to notice the the dry soil and foliage give away give way to wetlands and becomes more and more arduous to keep close to the river, you come to a you come to a halt. Need to listen for a moment. You thought you heard something. Mm -hmm. Somewhere behind the noises of wildlife in the forest, the rustling of leaves, the light splashing of the wetlands, you sound. You hear this. What sounds like metal dragging across stone, very slowly. And very close to you. Are we still in like this kind of wetland area? Is it forested? Is there anywhere for something to be, to be hiding? Lots of places for people to be hiding. Okay. Lots and lots of abrupt sight lines in every direction, including above you. Well, in that case, Keelian's going to hide. <laughs> okay, where's Keelian going to hide at? Um... So my thinking is is that if something were to attack, they only see the four and not necessarily know that there's a fifth, whatever this metal dragging thing might okay. be. So your goal so is relatively to... cl relatively close by. So you're not hiding out of you know abject cowardice. You're hiding with the thought that I can get a drop on people if an ambush happens. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and make the high check. And where would you like to be hidden at? Like, are we saying you're going to, like, climb up into a tree and hide in the foliage? Are you going to, like, dive into um, dive into the swamp and hide underwater? Starney's Let's gonna have climb a, up into a tree. Okay. Starney's going to have a hushed uh, conversation with Riot really quick. What did they say exactly was out here? Lizard. Lizard folk. And those are hmm. ones who like the face pain or not? Oh, I don't know. It can't hurt. All right. Uh, well, <laughs> Mr. Ernie's going to move out ahead of the rest of the group at that point. Okay. I, I, I got a 20, a natural 20. 
Hand up, empty, no weapon, obviously drawn. You guys watch as Keelian just disappears up into a nearby tree. Keelian, what's your passive perception? 16. Having more of a bird's eye view of the area, looking down, out in the waters of the river, where the river breaks away from the soil and kind of has to meander between these large, flat rocks. Hidden from your line of sight from where you were traveling, you see two of these lizard folk behind the rock. One of them is sharpening uh, arrowheads against it. The other one is wrestling with a net that he's trawled through water to catch the day's fish. The one who's sharpening an arrowhead is listening very intently, as though he has heard you and your friends, but has lost it now that you've decided to be silent. (laughs) And you watch as one of them whispers to the other one, and he secures the net and reaches down and picks up a spear as the other one gathers the arrows together and grabs up a bow. It's just the two of them. And Serenity, you are going to... Serenity's uh, moving forward, holding her hand back for the rest of the group to stay where they are. Uh, no obvious, no weapons drawn, one okay. hand up, just sort of showing that she doesn't mean any harm. Well, you can't see any lizard folk from where you are. I know, she can't. She's just, if anyone can see her, okay, so you're uh, go- she'll move forward about 30 feet. And when you say forward, do you mean in like in the direction you were walking or wading out? Or into in the direction the- of that sound. Okay. I'm going to hide. If I can. Right. I mean, you so, said there's plenty of hiding spaces. Yeah, go ahead and make a hide check. Okay. Yeah, there's lots of places to hide. I mean, you've got bushes yeah, you can duck in. You can press yourself down into the mud, like that guy in the Hunger Games, which was gross. Wow. I got a big fat five. Only the bottom half of the five is fat. <laughs> it's kind of got that bulbous <laughs> bottom to it. What, did, well, uh, I, what, what I got was a one. Oh, well, pff. what did the yeah. Liberation get? Uh, I'm going to take cover. I got a... Uh, Fourteen. Where is Liberation hiding? Um, t- uh, one of those little bolt holes. That, one, of the, one of the various little bolt holes. Kind of... Well, what do you mean by t- bolt hole? Well, I mean, the, the, you said there's all, lots of like, little... Like, lots of little... Uh, Holes and stuff like that. Yeah, there's foliage and stuff you can hide behind. You can duck down into like some mangrove roots or whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, where does Riot think she's hiding? Uh, behind one of these rocks in in the mud. Okay, when what and is I I, I, I kind of get the feeling that like Riot is hidden, but like the, she's not used to these long flowing robes, and so part of those is just like <laughs> out okay. in the stream. What is Mahogany doing as Serenity is advancing? Um, I'm assuming that I'm, since this is during the day, I'm like a slight distance away. So since I'm starting to notice that something's up, I'm heading back in their direction now. Okay. Make a perception check, Mahogany. And Serenity, do you say anything as you're advancing? No, she doesn't, she doesn't say anything. 13. Is Serenity making an effort to move silently? No. Okay. She... That's the magic word. Let's roll some initiative. Oh! Yeah! Fucking God, shit! Riot, what do you want? <laughs> Better than Keelian sounds like. 12. Mahogany, you're not rolling this initiative. You're not there. Well, I'm close though, right? Eh, we'll see. Uh, Keelian. Five. Oh. Hey, faster than lizard butts. Oh, uh, good. All right. Liberation. <laughs> Eleven. And Serenity. Serenity acts in 21. Did you just almost t- call me Libtard? Did what? Did you I think almost... he was... You no, know, he started to write Liberation. <laughs> Because you wouldn't be far from the truth, but... Seren- uh, Serenity, here's what's going to happen. My man, since you're just stomping through the mud, my man is about to jump up from behind this rock 
and launch an arrow at you. Okay. He's going to do that on a three. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, is are you going to give him the chance to do it? Uh, is he within 40 feet? He is, but stomping out into the water will be difficult terrain. Uh, well, is he within 20 feet of difficult terrain, then? He's about 40 feet out into the river, but the river counts as difficult terrain because you're wading in waist-deep water. How far out into the river am I right now? Uh, not very. You've only taken a few steps in his direction. Uh, if I run full speed and then jump... I'm trying to light land on top of the rock that he's on. Yeah, just trying to get above the. I mean, I can if I have enough footing right now to get a running long jump. My running long jump distance is pretty good. I can get make it over most of the difficult terrain. Give me an athletics check. Okay. Mahogany, how'd you do on that perception check? I got a thirteen. You get a bad feeling and decide to circle back around to where your companions are. I'm gonna believe point that one. Uh, are you long striding or are you flying, Mahogany? I'm flying, so this is very fast. Circling uh, back. Athletics of 23. Okay. Yeah. Sit on that 20 feet for one second. Yep. Circling back. Flying. I, I, I don't want to ask, but I have to. Flying is what? As an air <laughs> elemental. Okay. <laughs> Circling back around from scouting, uh, you're covering slightly different ground than you did on the way out. And as you do, you c- fly over an encampment of some of these lizard men. Looks like. Five or six of them. And what you notice is they have a prisoner bound and gagged. Stripped of everything but a loincloth. There's a small pile of equipment uh, nearby that they seem to be carrying with them. And you haven't seen many dwarves in Sigil, but you do recognize a dwarf when you see one. That's what your perception check gains you. Uh, Serenity, 23 on that athletics. Mm -hmm. And you do a flying leap, crash down on this rock, and... Yeah, you got the drop on this fool. Okay. Berserker Rage, uh, Reckless Attack. It's not that. It's not an action trance anymore. (laughs) Mechanically, it's an action trance. Uh, That'll hit a 20 on armor class for the first attack. Uh, That hits. And the second attack will hit a... 20, uh, not a six. Dude, dude, they're lizard men. So. Yeah. <laughs> then. Man, I think my monster manual is starting to fall apart. 18 uh-huh. on the first attack. 18 damage? Yep. Okay. I mean, he's certainly bloodied at this point. And the second attack hits for. 13. Okay, so you pummel this first lizard man, the one that was about to pop up with his bow and fire at you. And, I mean, you've caved in the side of his head. And those of you who are hiding, or think you're hiding, Mm -hmm. uh, you just hear the two cracking sounds, and then the splash sound as his body thuds into the water. Uh, The other lizard butt you're standing next to hefts up with his spear. Uh, Moving there? Actually, that was your whole turn. That was, yeah, that was Serenity's whole turn. Uh, it comes to Riot. Riot cast message at Serenity and says, do you need help? Wouldn't mind. All right. Then she, um, then her movement is going to be to get up out of the hiding place and approach Serenity. Okay. So you're going to... Because I don't, I don't think I can even see what she's fighting yet. You, well, you can see Serenity standing on top of this kind of flat yeah. rock. I can see her just fine, but I don't know what she's fighting yet. So I'm just going to approach her. Slapping at something with her maul down there. Okay. Uh, You do not have to count the water as difficult terrain because you could get down and swim through it if you wanted. Right. Yeah, let's do that. It's fun. (laughs) And how are you approaching Serenity? Are you going to climb up onto the rock where she is or are you going to circle around to the side of it in the water? Uh, Circle around to the side. And as you do, I mean, you see the second lizard man with his spear. And next to him is this net with fish in it that he's pulled out of the river. Okay. And what do you, what would you like to do to this poor bastard? Uh, I already can't use my action. My action was message. Oh, okay. Right. right. That's going to bring us to libations. 
Uh, give me just one second. I'm looking at I'm looking at an ability right quick. You could have used any of the seconds while swimming. I know. And... <laughs> I know. Mahogany, what's your plan via V this dwarf? I'm going to attempt to, to draw some of the lizard men away. Okay. Knock out any remaining. Well, hold on, hold on. Hold on. One me. step at a time here. You're getting ahead of yourself. Uh, first question, when you draw them away, what direction do you draw them? And then second question, how are you drawing them away? I'm going to uh, just kind of like head over to... So so there, the party's here, right? And I'm kind of like over here-ish. I mean, you're still in... You're still in the same hex with them? I'm going to try to draw them away from the party, then. So kind of back in the direction from where you were scouting from? Yeah. Okay, and how are you doing this? Like, what do you do to get I'm... their attention as an air elemental? Uh, what What's the area around me? Is it forest or is it river? Um, I'll leave that up to you, because you said you, were, you could scout across the river. I'll leave it up to you if you've crossed the river or not. All right, I'm going to just say that this is, like, right near the river. Okay. And I'm going to create, like, a water spout in in the river and make, like, fish just start, like, flopping out, flying into the air onto the shore. Okay. All right. Okay, Liberation. Back with us. So I'm going to come out of my hiding spot. Yep. And circle around the other side of the rock where... From where, um, from where uh, Riot went. Can you walk on and water yet? I can. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's what I was looking up. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wanted to make sure that I had that. So yeah, I can walk. I, yeah, so I, I just kind of, I just kind of dash along on the water, and I'm just gonna kick this guy. Mr. All right, Jones here. Yeah. It's poor see, see, there's, see, there's dive kick, but now there's this kick dive because I'm gonna dive into the water after. That was a fun game. Uh, how does a, how does a 14 do? Uh, does not hit. How about a, uh, 20? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And that's going to be, uh, eight damage. Okay. And sploosh. Right now next to him. So just crash down in the water next to where he's standing? Yep. Killian, what's good? I want to shoot him. Do you? <laughs> I do. Feel free. I get advantage because they you're... haven't acted yet. You get... And because you're hidden and probably like eight other reasons. <laughs> Sniping's a good job, mate. <laughs> nice. The dice just don't want you. They, they don't want it. The dice. Um, it's probably it. And 18. Yeah, that hits. Yeah. You're good. All right. They're primes. They're lizard primes at that. Oh, I hate everything. Uh. 17. 17? Yeah. Liberation, you drop kick this guy and make his spear clatter into the water, and then you just watch as cross bolt catches his head, and his whole body goes slack at once, and he ragdolls into the water on top of his net filled with fish. You're killing the thumbs up. You can't see me. <laughs> well, you're not hitting hold, anymore. <laughs> I just I just hold the thumbs straight up, and I know you'll see it. I'm gonna collect the fish and set them free if they're still alive. Okay. Noble fish did nothing wrong. Is that a uh, is that an osprum thing? Yeah, it's an osprum thing. <laughs> okay. Is anything you do an osprum thing? As, as far as you know, everything is like... an thing. Nick at this point has officially done more research about like <laughs> yeah. osprum than anybody else in the group. I think I'd go so far as to say, as far as Riot knows, everything she does is an osprum thing. <laughs> yep. I mean. 
I looked up Osprey when I first created the character. Let's be fair. There's nothing out there, though. <laughs> like, you, no, you didn't delve into the archives of Dragon Magazine the way I did. I, I certainly did not. <laughs> More fool you. <laughs> Mahogany, make a... So you're just trying to make like fish kind of erupt out of the river with a water spout? Yeah. yeah. Do some just good old-fashioned percentile rolls here. Two of them break away. Uh, it's not even really a camp they're at. It's just this little congregation of lizard men. But two of them break away, pick up spears and nets, and head off in that direction to investigate what's happening. Uh, leaving three of them with this bound dwarf. All right. I'm going to circle around, come up to where the bound dwarf is, and I'm going to knock the three of them unconscious. Okay. Uh, make an initiative roll. All right. Mahogany's thinking is, probably can't reason with the lizard folk right now, but if I find out this dwarf actually is some sort of lizard terrorist, <laughs> we can always drop him off later. Dude, you just had to beat a nine. What is well, this? I got, I got an eight. You got an eight. That means you don't get the surprise, though. This was going to be so much easier if you got the surprise and you didn't. <laughs> I mean, you Ruined surprised everything. them, but they, they come first in initiative, so now they're not surprised anymore. Uh, and it looks like our initiative is completely gone now. I know, I just deleted it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, your guys', is, hey, just, your guys thing is done. Uh, okay. Mahogany. Yeah. I don't have any intention of just sitting here and rolling attacks back and forth with you. Okay, so here's the that. thing. Are any of their weapons magical? How would you know that? No, I I'm saying I can take them. <laughs> <laughs> um, make a... So what's your goal? Is your goal to... You said your goal is to try to knock them out? I'm going to knock them unconscious, take the dwarf, and book. Okay. How do you intend to take the dwarf? Just lift him like you did with Elsie Clone? Or Liberation? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like, just... <laughs> like you did with Fuddrucker back there? Basically, he can see me. So I'm gonna make a motion for him to follow me, and if he doesn't, then he's, I'm he to... can't. He's bound. Well, yeah, he's bound. Well, up. I'm I'm gonna unbind him. As an arrow, how do you do that? Fucking slice <laughs> through the ropes with my sick ass slam attack. Like I can damage <laughs> rope. Make me. It's your whirlwind attacks on a recharge, right? I'm not whirlwinding the dwarf. I want to be very clear. You gotta here. deal with the lizard men before you get to the dwarf. Okay. Yeah. Whirlwind's on a recharge. Okay, how do I want to abstract It's a 50% recharge. What Brick Road really wants is a Make way me to a up. strength check. Straight up uh -huh. strength check at disadvantage. Okay. I was going to say he wants he wants a Mount Celestia event. Or just kill him. <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> Mainly I just don't want to play out prolonged combats against CR one-half creatures. Should I take the seven or the seven? Nine. Nine? Yeah. Listen, if this looks like it's gonna go now bad... Now go ahead and make a you? damage roll for one whirlwind attack against one of these lizard men. Okay. Can I hurl him into another lizard man? You cannot. Uh, oh wait, that, what, I'm rolling damage roll. Yeah, not a to hit, just a straight up damage. Yeah. And roll real high. That's 16 plus 2. 18. Okay. You're expecting this will be super easy. These are dumb prime lizards. All you got to do is sweep down there and crack their heads together like a Three Stooges routine. Yeah. They'll all fall to the ground. Turns out they're much hardier than you were expecting. You thought it was all going to be over in a matter of seconds, and it was not. Mm -hmm. You managed this whirlwind one up and slam into a tree. That one grabs his spear, and the other two scatter before you manage to get a track on them. So here's your decision that you have to make. You can either yeah. 
uh, chase down the lizard men, or you can protect the dwarf. If you take I your have attention zero off, interest in chasing down these lizard men. They've accomplished gotcha. what I wanted to accomplish by running away. You can't like get. Like I said, I I don't even want to kill them because it okay. tur might turn out that this guy's committed horrible lizard crimes, and there's a reason he's in their cage. Here's a reason you might want to chase down the lizard men: is as they're scattering, they snatch up the dwarf's equipment. Still zero. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he would try to break the uh, quote unquote whirlwind grapple thing. Yeah. Uh, but he's bound, so he can't. Yeah. But he complains loudly. I mean, he's got a gag in his mouth. Uh, but he complains loudly, screaming, screaming dwarven obscenities through the gag the whole time you've lifted him up. Can I only speak Orin? Right now, as an elemental, you kind of can't speak anything but Orin because you don't have vocal cords. <laughs> Right. Uh, you can understand all of the language you can typically understand, though. I'm going to tell him he's being a baby in Orin. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys are dealing with the two dead lizard men back in the river, from downstream, you see the whirlwind coming. And what do you do with this dwarf? I mean, I just kind of drop him next to Serenity. She's the most likely to be able to deal with the hostile dwarf. Serenity, this bound dwarf uh, who has sustained injuries and you're sure some of them were from the lizard men, but you're also pretty sure some of them were from this whirlwind as well. Bound and gagged, wearing just a loincloth and just very, very cantankerous is dropped at your feet. I'll uh, kneel down and Pick him up, set him sitting rightly, remove his gag, and unbind when you, his legs. Do any of you speak Dwarvish? Nope. No. Okay. Do any of you speak Primordial? Yes. Nope. Oh, yeah. Wait, no, oh, I only right. speak Terran. I only speak Terran. Yeah. Damn it. Do you move his bindings or just the gag? Uh, the bind. I leave his arms bound just until... I'm What's sure his... he's not about to attack me, but... Once his legs are no longer bound, he leaps to his feet, and he's spinning around in circles, staring at this just crazy, whirling mass of air in the sky that just lifts him up off the ground. Uh, you can't he understand common. what he's screaming about. You ask if he speaks common? Yeah. And his answer is, as little as necessary. And um, <laughs> Riot's going to talk to Mahogany and says, Mahogany, please, get down from there. And I'm going <laughs> to say back to Riot, I'm going to say, ask him if he's committed any lizard crimes. I don't understand Orin. No, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get you to. I can respond to a message, right? I'm not messaging you. I'm just saying in common. Mahogany, get down. All right. In that case, I I get down and kind of nudge you a few times. <sighs> so yeah, Serenity. He, he, his answer is as little as necessary. Yeah. I'll uh, cut the bindings on his wrist. Wrists. What happened to you? And he tells you that he was just about to spring his plan on these godforsaken swamp people reclaim his family's axe and butcher as many of their skulls as he could get away with when this and he's motioning towards the whirlwind uh, when he was suddenly lifted by this some foul elven magic no doubt that it foiled his escape well. where, where are you from? Where are we, if, by that matter, if you happen to know? Answer the second question first. And only now does it seem that he's registering that you're an alien. <laughs> and he's looking... Is Keelian still up in the tree? Yep. Okay, so he doesn't see Keelian. But looking at the rest of you, and seeing the horns on Liberation's head, and... Liberation smiles. <laughs> Riot's bizarre furry legs and teeth and gray skin I mean Serenity will smile she has fangs like a bear <laughs> and this has disarmed him somewhat by now Riot is messaging Mahogany he's like you're scaring me the poor guy come on just get, get out of that thing ask him if he's a lizard criminal <laughs> and he <laughs> says it to Serenity in common instead of answering her questions he says 
as he kind of stands up, back straight, chest out. Says, if you mean to carry me off to some hole for some foul elven trick, I will meet it with my head held high. Right, but... Look where he pokes the point, the, the, the top of his ears, like, is there... I'm can, not you, can you reassure my friend here that you're not some kind of terrorist against the lizard people? He says that what he does not recognize the, uh, and he, you don't understand the word he uses, but you're pretty sure it's a racial slur. <laughs> Uh, some the dwarven word. Solid. But he doesn't recognize them as people. Lizard, lizard person sovereignty is not recognized by the dwarven nation. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's racist against the lizard people. Yeah, so I'll... I'll, I'll well, look back at Mahogany and say comment. Do with that what you will. Alright, look. We're not here to hurt you. We're actually looking for a gnome... Um, if you need help, we're more than happy to help you. I mean, this lizard's about to shoot me, so she kind of kicks the corpse as it's, or she kind of nudges the corpse as it's drifting down the, so I'm not particularly fond of them right now, but I would like to know who you are and what you're doing here. And he kind of notices the lizard, the dead lizard folk, one of them with a caved in skull laying in the river. And he looks upon them approvingly and he starts gathering up their weapons. He grabs up the spear grabs up the bow and slings it across his chest, uh, grabs up the quiver of crude arrows. You release all the fish, right? There are no more fish there. Yeah, uh, there's no more fish. Serenity harpooned one of them for dinner. Okay. Why would you do that? You just saw me. What? What's wrong? I can make food anytime we want. <laughs> Trust me, this will be really good. I, I've got a new recipe. Don't I'm do that again. I'm pretty sure Osborne is the god of fishermen. Does, uh... He says in Orin. Does, I, I don't understand that. Does Serenity so it's just have an unsettling whisper? <laughs> does Serenity have a good recipe for scales on fish? <laughs> it's the same as for on rat, I think. Yeah, At the basically. mention of, you know, we're able to help you, as he picks up these weapons, weapons, he says, "Great, I'm moving downstream to reclaim my axe. If you're not going, and he's look, regarding the whirlwind. If you're not going to." whisk me away to some foul elven hell, then you can march with me. He's not an elf. Why don't you show him what you actually are, Mahogany? 